was. <laughs> I have, well, I have a question um, about I'm, yeah. I'm also a good um, user of uh, electronic money. So my question, uh, you're in introducing the electronic euro, as I know. Yeah. So yeah. how can I, um, how can switching to an electronic currency help? Well, two things. Number one, it will be decided in October. So we are preparing the ground. We want to be ready. Um, we want to be trained, but it will not be decided until October 23. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm personally convinced that we have to move ahead is a situation like the one we are in now. We are mm -hmm. dependent on the supply of gas by a, a very unfriendly country. Mm -hmm. I don't want Europe to be dependent on an unfriendly country's currency, for instance, I don't know, you know, the Chinese currency, the Russian currency, the mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. or dependent on a friendly currency, but which is activated by a private corporate entity like, you know, Facebook or like uh, Google or anybody like. That. I'm user of Bitcoin too. So I had bought it uh, when it started and uh... I, I hope that uh, it also will work in through the special system. And uh, I know there are many protests in Europe uh, against uh, the electronic euro. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the reason? You know, it's it's the beauty of Europe. It has different uh, positions. If you ask in Northern Europe, for instance, uh, in the Netherlands, they're quite happy to see the e-euro coming. If you ask a young German um, man, he'll say, yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. As I said, I don't want Meta, Google or Amazon to suddenly come up with a currency that will take over the sovereignty of Europe. I don't want a foreign currency to become the currency of trading within Europe. So we have to be ready. No, the problem is they don't want to be controlled. Uh, they don't want to... Uh... Yeah, but you know what? You know what? <laughs> now we have in Europe this threshold above 1,000 euros, you cannot pay cash. If you do, mm -hmm. you're on the grey market. So you take mm -hmm. your risk. You get caught, you are fined or you go in jail. But, you know, the, the, the digital euro is going to have a limited amount of control. There will be control, you're right. You're completely right. Mm -hmm. We are considering whether for very small amounts, you know, anything that is around 300, 400 euros, we could have a mechanism where there is zero control. But that could be dangerous. The terrorist attacks on France uh, back uh, 10 years ago were entirely financed by those very small anonymous credit cards that you can recharge in total anonymity. Mm -hmm. The uh, you know that the um, uh, question is now now I think that it's a joke like like a joke that uh, the next um, uh, currency will be firewoods for Europe. Will be what? Firewoods, firewoods to hit to hit the uh, yeah. yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> So it's like a joke. It's like a joke from a uh, Russian side. That well, they we... can get lost. <laughs> and my question is, do you think that the policy uh, of previous authorities uh, with the IMF, I mean Poroshenko, led to a crisis? Because I got a many big, many uh, terrible uh, situation in economics when I became a president. So because uh, he... Uh, probably has uh, stole some um, some loans for Ukraine for his interests, and uh, we forced it to raise the pensions and tariffs for a long time, and it, it led to the critical situation, and Russia used it. Hmm. You know, I think first of all, I think the IMF did the best that it could do to help and support Ukraine. 
Um, you know as well as I do that the country was not in perfect shape. Uh, you know as well as I do that there were some, some very strange characters who abused the situation, who had their own militias, who had their own system that certainly took advantage of what was um, tried both by the IMF, by the United States, in order to help Ukraine. But, you know, you cannot rewrite history. And I think mm. that at the time, the loan by the IMF, the program that was initiated was necessary and had it not happened, would have been devastating for Ukraine. So was it 100% well implemented? Certainly not. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you very much. I'm really Thank happy you to, to you. talk to you. Thank you. Have Same a great here. day with your colleagues. You too. Okay, thank you.